Okay, chat, we are finally kind of back where we were after that little save mishap. So let's, uh, let's do some stuff here. All right, we gotta kill this thing. Let's see if this works. Hmm, no? Stab. Oh, it did work. Sweet. Nice. Uh-oh, not nice? Oh, okay. Why is my... Why is my corpse following... Hello, Susan. Why is my corpse following me? I don't know how I feel about this. Oh. Is that also me? Okay. I need to operate with a lever. Oh, nice. I didn't think that was gonna work. Okay, operate. Nice. Okay, so can I take... Okay, I can remove the lever. Okay, operate. Oh, I need a lever. Operate. Nice. And then I need this one again. Sweet! I think we got it. Operate. And main panel, operate. Oh, I need to get the lever from here. So am I gonna kill myself? lever okay operate oh I just killed myself very good we did it Okay, it sounds like something's moving now. Oh, my ghost is still following me. Okay, come on, Susan. Now, Music is nice. I'm fine what? <laughs> what is what with the music? Come on, Susan. Get on here. Goodbye, other world. Alright, where are we going? Underwater? Oh, look, there's a body. Water pressure? Bro. Am I gonna implode? I don't know where we're going. Oh. 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 Is that you behind my back, Mitzi? Huh. Ms. Ashworth, I thought... I thought you were dead. I saw that man hit you right in the head. Me? Dead? No. No, I'm a tough old girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? <sighs> okay. I can do that. What's this? Duct tape? Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard? It won't hurt to try. 
Mm, I don't think that's gonna work, girls. I do not think Pointless. that's gonna work. They're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocooned, stuck in a web, waiting to be eaten. But where's the spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Pull yourself together and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. Uh, what about those lock picks? How about those lock picks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? We're wrapped in duct tape in case you forgot. How is a lock pick gonna help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. So let's forget the lock picks and think of something else, all right? Mm. Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered I can't reach it. So let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? Huh. Oh, you are nasty. I'll ask work, her. Miss a. I mean, I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. Mm. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. And you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? You don't really have them. Who are you to call me a liar? I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Really? Yes, but clearly my word isn't enough. You know what? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. He might just throw our bodies in the river or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Always an optimist. Mm, that's my girl Susan. Did he hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. I've got a bit of a headache. I think I'm all right. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. But I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. Do you think he's going to... rape us? No, he is not. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Let's just wait for him to come back. Sooner or later, they always make a mistake. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. And I'm sorry about the mug, too. It's all right. Water under the bridge. So, uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. And hmm. you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. True what? and real. We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him to death? I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not going to die here. Not like this. Maybe we could pull Maybe this pipe. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall. How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Well, at least we're clean now. Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. I used to like flowers. Is this really the time to be saying you liked flowers? I used to like flowers, you know. Like everyone else. Or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week. Because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Who's Eric? Your partner? My husband. Whoa! 
We're getting we Susan lore. Worked every weekend, and I was still on maternity leave. So, our little daughter. So she did have was a daughter. Only six months old at the time. Well, five months and twenty-eight days exactly. She would be eleven now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away, but I really liked them. Somehow, they were extraordinary, absolutely stunning, and looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. Oh, young Susan. Do you like the flowers? Uh. They're very pretty. I have a family. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I have a family. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you again. We've managed to patch things up with Eric. And there's Zoe. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents. So, yeah. I can't just run away with you. Life's not a film with Julia Roberts, you know? But sometimes doing crazy things can change your life for better. You really want to be that woman who in 10 years time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved i look huh. i love my husband oh it says liar in the background i told you before i'll be a good father to her if you want it doesn't work like that you don't know anything about children i'll learn give up honestly I could never give up on you, Susan. Come on, don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. Uh. Uh oh. What option? No, you have to shut up. We can't do this. Oh, shut up. Just shut up, all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. Please, just think about it. I have time. I'll wait. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah? When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? No. I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. I guess I should do something about these flowers. What are we gonna do I with really them? like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Eric can't see. Oh, the background words. It reads, I know one day you will say yes. If I'm gonna keep them, I should definitely throw this note away just in case Eric finds it. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Alright. Gonna put them on the coffee table? Okay, no, I can't. Sweet exotic scent. This must be what guilt smells like. Okay. Oh, the. Is this. Oh, this is the baby's room. She's fast asleep now. My baby girl. She looks so cute. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, there's a shelf here. Maybe I could put them on the shelf next to Zoe. Oh, yeah. Now I can tell Eric that Mandy had brought them for Zoe. It seems like a pretty innocent lie. I no, doubt he'll no, notice Susan. anyway. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Oh. Eric must have come home Could early. Could that be my husband? But why? Let's go check on my husband. Let's go check on my husband. I wonder if he's nice. You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Okay, he's yes, mad. Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What what happened? Um Was there an accident? Was there an accident? Yes, you could call it that. But if a guy walks into a busy restaurant during dinner service and detonates a bomb strapped to his chest, then I think the term terrorist attack is more fitting. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Oh. Okay, buddy. I think we need to take a chill pill. Of course I care. I had no idea. You should pay more attention to what's happening to this country, Susan. I could have died, and you wouldn't even know. Did you get hurt? No, not yeah, really. A little bit. The cab smashed quite badly. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke. Clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stopped, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's <coughs> blood on the rear window. Yeah, but and it's just not just then her another fault. car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. But no, it was some geezer with a bloody bomb. They closed all the main streets, in case there's more of them. What time was that? Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. Would you believe? Our insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Every time it's the same old story. Uh... We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. Okay, you know what, buddy? You did have a pretty hard day today. Your cab is toaster strudels. So, I'll get the glasses. And I'll let it slide. Alright, I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But... Are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No, I just need a drink. I can wash later. Okay, buddy. Yeah, he definitely is taking it out on her for no reason, but... Alright, we got the wine glasses. Are you gonna get that? If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Okay. Hello? It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. Oh, bro, this is not I the love time. You, Susan. Susan? Although he sounds You're a lot so nicer. Happy. Please say something. Anything. Um Thanks. But we're already insured with someone else. I... Excuse me? Susan, it's me. The only thing I'm trying to sell to you is my heart. Right, that's we won't be needing pet insurance either. What are you talking about? Would you like my husband to talk to you? 
He's just come home from work. He usually deals with insurance companies. Will you just put the phone down? Once you start talking to them, these insurance bloodsuckers will never leave you alone. Susan, I'm so sorry. Should I hang up? Just hang up, Susan. Have you gone mad? This could have been a disaster. How was I supposed to know? Where is he now? In the other room. I can't talk. Just I wanted to I say... command you to put a bra on this instant. I, I refuse! My melons were meant to be free! Maddox, cease this foolishness. Oh. I can jiggle if I want to. I can leave my bra behind. Because my boobs don't bounce, and if they don't bounce, well, there are no boobs of mine. Maddox, come back. <sighs> I'm going to have to cut that. <laughs> Yourself, if he found out like this. I'll tell you one thing, lover. Yeah? What is it? Don't call me again. I won't answer it next Friday. Please, Susan. This could be the start of something beautiful. Something beautiful? Uh-oh. You can't start something beautiful with lies and deceit. Bye. Okay. Then the arguing started. It slowly grew into something bigger, something horrible. Stupid remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued, but it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day, but it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize your day a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Bro, you're a dick. All right, you are a dick. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. I'd really like you to calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. I think you're lazy, Susan. Whoa. You do nothing all day. While I keep Whoa. working my ass off to provide for this family. Is this I guy kidding me? I think you're trying to me? shift the responsibility on me, like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think Honestly? you're an asshole. How dare you accuse me of such things? It only takes one look at the flat to see it's all true. Bro. Go. Yeah, I I'm gonna go check on, on the baby. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. Bruh. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Okay. Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies and singing. Okay, and buddy. You're and drunk. Washing. You're. Yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Can we get an if Ellen you chat, time please? With our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. 
So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Thank you, Jojo. you know what? The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. She better get used to it, because this is just the start. Whoa. There's gonna be some changes around here. I'm fed up of being pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family! I will make the rules, and I get the respect I deserve. Okay, buddy. I'm done I'm talking, to you. talking to you. Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. Okay. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. Honestly, I phone guy is sounding like a W. Is. is there something you're not telling me, Eric? You'd know if you listened to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Okay. Not to a single word I've ever said. Right, here we go. It's not you, it's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking any of this seriously. I know that tomorrow you'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses and you had some too. I'm not drunk. Um, I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life. Okay. So That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit, Susan. Your shitty full husband, shit. Eric. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? Yeah, you tell him, Susan. So I'm an idiot now, am I? You're... You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. You're throwing me out. This is my fucking flat. I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it. I'm not going anywhere. Um... I haven't done anything wrong. Of course not. Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah? Then why are we here now, fighting? This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> you, Susan! You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge! Here's the option. How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt. Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife! I'm the mother of your child. Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? Okay, when was the buddy. last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. I love her to bits, I swear I do. But I want to have a wife too. When was the last time you even kissed me? I'm not even talking about sex. Uh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Hmm. Is it? Of course it fucking bothers me. Does it not bother you that we never have time for each other? Hmm. Look, we are new Now I can parents. kind of understand it's Eric's frustration hard. a bit. All couples go through it, I heard. Well, fuck this. I heard different. So he doesn't need to be a dick. Stop it! Stop it, Oh, Susan. for sure. I've only just started. I fully just started. What a what fucking really cocksucker. <laughs> we uh -oh. didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there. By her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen. But we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. Oh man. The baby died from pollen. This got bad doors.
Poor Zoe. Justice for Zoe. The next time we saw her, when we found her, she, she <laughs> was... Waffle. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked bad. Miss Ashwood, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Um, what do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Mitzi. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. Um. No. Take me instead. Take me. All right, what's going on? All right, can I? Uh, you hurt my friend. I. I will. The hell? He untapes me. What? What's going on? What a freak. You're letting me go? Just like that? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Okay. You better put her down. Whoa. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, buddy. Okay. You sick bitch. What do you want me to do? Okay, howl at me. Piano. I don't understand. Piano? Piano. All right, I'll play the damn piano. The cats are gonna come. It's okay, Mitzi, I'm gonna save you. Cats are going crazy. They're all my little feline friends. Okay, that was kind of funny. Eating him? No, Mitzi! Mitzi, I'm coming! Ah! Ah! Chair, chair! Push! 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 Okay, Mitzi, Mitzi, pull up, pull up! Stand still, oh. Mitzi. I'm gonna be right back with a knife. 
and I'll cut you down. Oh, oh we saved her. This is the cat lady. I just don't know why that guy broke in my house. Woo, close one, close one. Close one. They're, they're eating you. Yeah, this is, they are. Don't look, Mitzi. They're eating him. He got he kinda deserved it though. Whoa. Guys. 